Hello and welcome to a new series of video about a thing I bought. Again, a project. I bought this thing here. Yeah? A load cell. Alright? A load cell. So this is actually some load cell which promises that I can measure uh, a weight of one kilogram. Okay? This is how this looks like. This is the size. I also bought a second one because I was so excited. I bought this tiny little thing. Yeah? This. This is not a load cell for one kilogram. This is one kilogram, as you can see. This is somewhere 100 grams. Yeah? But actually, the principle is working exactly the same. We have a bunch of wires attached to this load cell. And what is behind is, is a strain gauge measurement, Wheatstone bridge. Yeah? So actually, there are four, four resistors inside which look like that. Yeah, so those four resistors, they are somehow arranged in that way yeah, that we have here. An R. We have here an R. We have here an R. And we have here an R. Maybe you have already seen such drawing. Yeah? Wheatstone Bridge is called. Yeah? This is according. Wheatstone Bridge. Yeah? And here we have the connector. So we have here a wire. We have here a wire. We have here a wire. And we have here a wire. Those are those four wires. Now the question is what is what? Yeah? Because actually I have to put here somewhere plus and minus yeah? and I have to measure the differential voltage here. Yeah? UD, yeah? this differential voltage I have to measure. Because how this is working exactly, I'm explaining there is a series of video or there is a video about stress measurement. Yeah? I'm explaining this. Those, those strain gauges, they are located under this protective, protective film here, and this protective cover. And actually what they measure is the deformation of this element. Yeah? Due to the load, this will be deformed, this element. And this is, the strain gauges, they are very exquisite, they are very tiny and so on. And if you, you just pull them apart, the resistance will change. So this resistor will change, this resistance will change. They are applied in a way, it's working like that, that those and this and this are at one side and this and this are at the other side. Yeah? Because it's simply the load case. And like I said, there, is a, there are videos about this uh, where I'm, I'm explaining this. And, well, uh, I know now, red is this one. And I know now, Black, I think, is this one, yeah? and this is green, green, and 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 white. Yeah? Does not really matter. Yeah? Uh, then there is this device here. Uh, yeah? This is actually the thing which is interpreting this so we have to connect we have to connect here e plus so this must be e plus here it's labeled here e plus this is labeled e minus yeah and one of those is a plus and a minus i'm not sure if a plus and minus for the a i'm, I'm correct but in worst case i get negative negative uh, weights uh, then I have to turn this. So actually what, what is done is that we have here applied a voltage yeah, and we measure the differential voltage. If all resistors are equal like that, uh, if all resistors are equal, then here and here is the same, the same voltage and I measure no differential voltage. If this is getting bigger, then this will drop and I'm measuring a negative 
voltage. If this is getting smaller, then this will raise and I will have a positive differential voltage. Yeah? And since those elements are applied that way, then this and th if this is getting bigger, this is getting bigger, and this is getting smaller, and this is getting smaller, so with the deformation of this, I measure here plus and minus voltages, and these plus and minus voltages are somehow interpreted by this little thing here. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah? Ten years ago, it, 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 you would need different size things, and now it should be that. I'm already curious if this is working and how well it is working. Uh, yeah, so actually what I want to find out now, what resistance those strain gauges do have. So I'm going to measure between the red and the black line. So I should measure 2R and 2R in parallel. So I should measure R. All right. Let's see. Here is my measurement device. Zack, zack. So I said I am going to use the red one. Oh, there's a bigger, bigger gap. Alright, red one, and I'm going to use the black one as well, and I should measure exactly the resistance of those things. One kilo ohm. One kilo ohm. So it seems like one resistor is one kilo ohm. And if I measure now the green side, I should measure a different thing. Yeah, 750 ohms. Yeah, 750 ohms. Let's see if this seems to be correct and the white one should also be 750. Then I'm pretty sure all of them are in a good shape. 750. Good. Yeah. Why? Why I know that it's 750? Because if I measure from E plus to E minus, it looks like that. We have here R, we have here R, we have here R, we have here R. Yeah. So actually, this is series, yeah? so it would look like that. We have here 2R and 2R. Yeah? And in parallel, yeah, if It's just R. Hmm? That's it. Because from here to here, it, it's uh, 2R multiplied by 2R divided by 2R plus 2R yeah, equals 4R squared divided by uh, 4R. Zack, zack. R. Right, and so this is E plus and E minus. This was the red one, and this was the black, the black one. At this, at this thing here, and if I measure now between E plus and A plus, it would look like that. That on one side. We have only an R. On the other side, I have one, two, three R. So this is E plus, and this is A plus. All right. So we have here R, and we have here three R. And to A minus, it's exactly the same, but uh, the other side, all right? And if we have this now, R multiplied by 3R, 
to r plus 3r. Yeah, what is this? This is 3r squared mm. divided by 4r. Zack, zack. So this is 3 quarter r. And if r is 1 kilo ohm, 3 quarter is 750 ohms. So actually, it looks like this. 3 quarter r. And also in the other direction, since it's just switching sides, it's also 3 quarter r. And this is exactly what we measured, right? This is exactly what we measured. And I want to know now if this is also all the same. Let's see here. Red. Black. Uh -huh. One dot one three five kilo. Hmm. It's a little bit different. Okay. But it seems to be the same the same strain gauges inside there. I'm already Okay, I have, would have expected not that far, to be not that far off, eh? but all right, we will see. So actually, what I'm going to do now is I will use this one here, I will connect this and then I will, I will try to read something with the Arduino. I'll try to read. There is a library and so on. I've, I will show you next video. This will happen and I will show what is happening in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.